Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back for another video. So today I'm going to be doing some random garden projects around my property today. First and foremost, we are going to be pressure washing. I do have a pressure washer to share with you guys that was sent to me by Vivor. I'm so excited to try it out. As you guys can see behind me, I am in serious need of a pressure wash and trimming. So those are the main two things I want to try and get done today. Let's go ahead and get right to work. All right, y'all, so here's a look at the pressure washer that was sent to me by Vivor. This is a high pressure washer. It does 2,000 PSI, and it does come with all of these attachments here. So you have a nice power gun, you have the spray wand, and then you have a number of different nozzles. So this is the turbo nozzle, and then you've got five different pattern nozzles you can attach to it as well. It has a nice heavy-duty power cord, and then I got the one that comes with the hose reel. You can get it without the hose reel, but I just thought this would be a little bit more convenient. This is a 30-foot hose, you guys, so you can definitely reach far with this. I'm going to go ahead and get it set up, and then we'll get to cleaning. So the assembly is pretty straightforward. This is the on and off switch, so you want to make sure it's on off. This little cap down here, I'm going to pop off to attach the actual hose. This just pops right in. Push it in nice and tight and then screw it on nice and secure. Not too tight, but just enough so that it won't leak. All right, and then this is the actual hose. So I'm gonna attach the gun to the hose. And that just slides in. It's a little hole right here. I'm not sure if you guys can see. There we go, the lighting. There's a little hole. I'm just gonna slide that in to attach the hose and then lock it in place and then we're going to attach the wand so so attach the wand you're just going to align these grooves with the inside and then twist to the left and then last i'm going to attach my nozzle i'm going to try out the turbo nozzle first and to attach it you just pull this down and slide this in all right my gun is assembled there is a safety lock button right here so as you can see i cannot squeeze the trigger when you're ready to use it you just slide the button out and you'll be able to squeeze the trigger so let's go ahead and get this hooked up so on the back side this is where your hose your garden hose will attach here for the water and we'll get to pressure washing one last attachment that I forgot to mention, it does also come with this spray bottle. So I'm actually gonna be filling this up with my cleaner, which is going to be 30 seconds outdoor cleaner. I use this every year, it works amazing. And then we'll get to cleaning.
Wow, y'all, so I'm halfway done, but this side of the house looks so much better. Halfway more to go. All right, y'all, so I was able to get most of the house completed. Well, at least the level that I could actually reach because I'm only 5'2". <laughs> but I'll have to wait for my boyfriend to get off work to help me do the rest of the house, but oh, it looks so much better. So this area over here, I think I'm gonna have to go back and do a second pass. So next order of business, I wanna tackle my two topiaries here. These are two emerald green Arborvitae spirals that definitely need a haircut. And then I also have laid out all my bags of mulch to finish mulching this bed. I've already mulched up to, I think here is where I stopped. So I need to go all the way down the second half of the bed. Let's go. Right, y'all one spiral down and it does look a little sparse in some areas but I think it'll fill in just fine like I really couldn't decide if I wanted to just create a ball at the top or if I wanted the spiral to continue around so I'm hoping this area right here like all of this will fill in and hopefully over here so that all of that will fill in but y'all it doesn't look too bad if you stand from this side oh look at the before and the after I'm just impressed with myself for actually getting the spiral shape back. Like, I'm always so scared to do the spirals, so I feel like I'm going to mess them up. But the more you cut, the more they will grow. So, not too bad for my first attempt. second spiral is done and boy y'all this one turned out so much better than the other one like look at this compared to that <laughs> oh my gosh really butchered that one over there but I think they'll both be okay kind of got my swing of things with this one so yeah y'all I think next year I'm just not gonna let them grow out as much as I did I literally did not prune on them at all last year like I just bought them put them in the ground and just let them grow so definitely we'll do some touch-up pruning I think this one looks pretty good from most angles y'all the top is still a little bit wonky so we'll figure that out I did leave all of the clippings down in the bed I'm just gonna mulch over them I think they'll be fine add some nice nutrition to the ground and y'all I can smell them they smell so good I love the smell of fresh cut arborvitae so anywho next task is going to be finishing mulching this bed and then I also need to 
finished burying my drip line over here. This is a drip that I tapped into to bury my line under the grass to water all of the arbs in the new bed. And I also need to do some pruning on these topiaries as well. So let's get to it. y'all so I just fixed my drip line I didn't film it I'm just going to document it for myself and share it with you guys so I did tap in a new barb coupler here ran that to the rhododendron so it'll be watered and then over here I cut out um, where I had my coupler added a straight coupler here so the line will continue and then I also added a T here so all I have to do now is bury this underneath it already goes underground there All right, y'all, Shade Garden is all cleaned up. The house is looking so much cleaner than it was before. Everything is freshly mulched, all the weeds are pulled, the drip is running, and I feel so much better having one side of my house fully buttoned up. Like, oh, this feels so good. And look at my topiary, y'all. Yes, it's a little bald, but it will fill in, but it looks so much better than those woolly spirals that I had before. And I am so proud of myself for how this one turned out. Like, look at that. Oh, I am so in love. First timer, by the way. So two snaps and a pat on the back for me. I am loving how this turned out. I'm so proud of myself. But anywho, a few updates for you guys. So I did used to have a hedge of five hydrangeas planted along the back here. Well, I still do. <laughs> I have four left. I did dig one up and replace it with a clearance plant. The one that I dug up, I gave to my coworker. This one I did cut back very, very hard, hoping that it'll flush out with some new growth. If it does well, then I will be digging up these four as well and replacing them with the same type of hydrangea. Just because I want to fill in this like blank space up here on my wall. I am also considering putting a window box here. Not quite sure yet, but we'll see. And then also, if you guys will remember from previous videos, I used to have my Pinky Winky on standard planted in a pot over here in the corner. I did move the pot to the other side of the fence when I created my new bed. If y'all missed that video, check it out. I'll leave it linked. But now I have a blank space to pant back here. So it's quite a big space. I'm thinking probably something low maintenance like a hosta or something that'll automatically come back just to fill in that big area. And then also look at my little rhododendron, you guys. I have four blooms. I know y'all probably like, why is she so excited about these four little blooms? I was not expecting any blooms this year, you guys. So I am so happy with these four. I transplanted this last summer in the dead of heat. It was super stressed. So I'm so glad that it is loving its life and pushing out so much new growth. So happy with this here. So everything is just looking so fresh, you guys. I love fresh mold. Like I say this all the time. It's just like putting mascara, the finished touches on a bed. So... Lots more to come. I still have lots of areas to fill in. Still trying to decide what I want to plant around this little swoop here because my little Hykona Chloas are just not cutting it for me, y'all. So if y'all have any suggestions, leave those in the comments below. That is going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for joining me and watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was inspirational for you as always. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll catch you in my next video. Peace. Cool.